G'day YouTubers, welcome back. I'm Aaron, and this is Mossy. Today, we're going to show you a little video on the, how to make a spindle spinner for the TM25 or TM20 or for that matter, the Grizzly G074. About a week ago, I got an email from Chris, so shout out to Chris. G'day Chris, from CNC Machine Plans. Uh, he's uh, requesting, well he asked me very nicely if I could make him a spindle spinner. I thought, you know what, no problems. While I'm making one, I won't even make two. Going back about two years ago when I first did my CNC conversion on my Titan machine, uh, I made one of these spindle spinners. And uh, it's not my invention. It's uh, Hoss from Hoss Machine actually invented this. Um, this is not Hoss's drawing. I just uh, redrew my own. And uh, yeah, about two years ago, I made it in V-Carb Pro and made it on the TM20. Today, however, I'm going to uh, go back to my workshop at school and I'm going to make one on the Haas CNC Super Mini Mill 2. But before we do that, I might flick around here and turn the cat on and uh, show you how I actually designed this spanner and uh, show you how HSM works. Well, I've got SolidWorks open up and I've got the spindle spanner drawn here, which you can see in front of you. It's very simple. It's just a sketch and extrusion. I'll take it into the HSM works, the cam. We'll actually simulate that and this will give you an idea what you know my machining strategy and how I'll be machining this today. So it's a simple facing operation followed by a drilling cycle uh, with a chip clearing for retract after I think 12 and a half mil. Then it's a 2D contour path. Now we could have done this via adaptive clearing, however I'm having a little bit of trouble trying to get adaptive clearing to work on the outside. Um, I've tried numerous things and I'm stuck, so maybe somebody out there in the uh, YouTube community might give me a shout out and uh, I'll do a video on you know, how to do adaptive clearing on the external like this. Now, the rest of the parts, what I did, I drew a fixture plate and rigid tapped this with the mill as well, and then attached it to the fixture, pl fixture plate and told HSM Works which one's the fixture and which one's the job and you can see the stock has gone around the spindle spinner. Uh, this is a clean up full depth pass with a chamfer around the top edge as well. And lastly was the part flip where I flipped the part and chamfer this top edge as well here. Okay well uh, let's get into it. Oh, my God. 
best part of the day, or best job of the day, when the uh, car... Well, we've finished the machining, and we've brought the spanners home. You can have a look at them. We've still got to have the pin put in them, but the precision... Have a look at that. How good is that? There we have it, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget, thumbs up, uh, post me a comment, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.